With the horrible situation going on in Palestine, I thought we should talk about why is Palestine considered a holy land for Muslims? Is it mentioned in the Quran or the Hadith of the Prophet? Let's discuss. There is a Hadith that states that there is not a single hand span in all of Al-Quds, Jerusalem, except that a Prophet of Allah or an angel has stood foot there. So with that, we can already tell that this land, the land of Palestine, is of great significant religious importance for Muslims, especially the city of Jerusalem and its beating heart, Masjid Al-Aqsa. In fact, there is a hadith in which the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is narrated as saying that Masjid Al-Aqsa is one of the three most holy mosques in the world and one of the only three mosques that Muslims are allowed to visit around the world. And so that hadith, that elevates Masjid Al-Aqsa to being one of the three most important mosques in all of Islam. And there's another hadith in which the Prophet, peace be upon him, said that prayer in Masjid Al-Aqsa is worth 500 rewards rather than the one normal reward. Only prayers in Masjid Al-Haram and Masjid Al-Nabi in Medina are worth more rewards than that. And it's not just the Al-Aqsa Mosque that's blessed, the entire land that's surrounding the mosque in Jerusalem is also blessed. And it's mentioned in the Quran in Surah Al-Isra that the Al-Aqsa Mosque is from where the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had his miraculous night journey known as Miraj. And the verse talks about how Allah took the Prophet, peace be upon him, from where he was in Mecca, all the way to Jerusalem, to the Al-Aqsa Mosque, in the span of a single night, and then how he was raised from the Al-Aqsa Mosque, ascended and lifted up to the heavens to speak with Allah, to receive the gift of prayer, Salah. And the actual story is very detailed and goes beyond that. He made many stops along the way. He spoke to the souls of some prophets along the way as well, including the Prophet Moses, may peace be upon him. Hazrat Musa. And I won't go into all the details of the night journey in this video, that requires a whole video of its own. And so beyond these explicit mentions in the Quran and the Hadith, the importance of the lands of Palestine, Jerusalem, are also because of the historical significance. Because of the stories of the earlier prophets that had been there, that had done things, that had spread the word of Allah. It was this land that the Prophet Musa, Moses, peace be upon him, yearned to enter with his followers, that he was promised by Allah, mentioned in the Quran where Hazrat Musa is telling his people, enter this land that we've been promised, believe in Allah, be righteous followers. It was in this land that the Prophet David or Dawood established his kingdom. And it was in this land where Prophet Jesus, Prophet Isa, was sent to spread the message of Allah. And the history and continuity of prophethood in this land of Palestine makes it a historical and spiritual goldmine for us Muslims. And for those of you who are watching that are non-Muslim, that might be confused by what I just said, we as Muslims believe in all the prophets and that they were all sent by the one true God, Allah. And that they were all sent with the same message of belief, to believe in Allah and follow the Islamic way of life. And that includes the Prophet Jesus. He was sent with the same message. But unfortunately, his message and the messages of various other prophets in history that came through the lands of Palestine were corrupted, twisted throughout history. And that's how we've ended up with false concepts like the Christian Trinity, or the belief that Jesus is the same as God, or that he's the son of God. And this is where our differences start to happen. But anyway, back to the land of Palestine, all of these layers, the multiple Quran verses, Hadith, about this land, about the blessed nature of this land, about the rewards of praying in Masjid Al-Aqsa, about the story of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his night journey, receiving the gift of prayer, all the prophets of the past, and the mention that this is a promised land for believers. It all joins together, it all gives this land a, a special significance in the heart of all righteous Muslims. And so we can't help but feel the pain of the people of Palestine as they suffer through the oppression that they're going through right now. And I'll end this video by making a quick prayer. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help ease the burden of the people of Palestine, bring them justice, and give them peace both in this world and the next. Ameen. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. Assalamu alaikum.